yeah, he's a big tough breed, you know, he's, uh, he's super playful and friendly, he, you know, he's, uh, he's a jumper. We'll get him back, okay? It's a heartbreaking scene and a dog owner's worst nightmare. 16 pups stolen in broad daylight while their owners were at work, school and running errands. Good evening, I'm Christina Hauer and tonight we tell you a heartbreaking and heart-wrenching story that's hurt 16 Toronto families. It happened today right here in the Fort York area. 16 dogs locked up in a parked van in around 11 o'clock this morning when a thief came up, stole the van and drove away with some of those families' most valued members in tow. Just bring it back, just bring it somewhere where it will be found, leave it on the street running and just get out and walk away or bring it to the police station and just walk away. We don't care, we just want the dogs back. We just want her back. This is, this is our kid. She's got four legs and doesn't speak any language that we know, but we want her back. It was a bold move. At approximately 11.13 this morning, a blonde white man stole the van parked outside the condos in Fort York and drove northbound. Andrew says he saw it all happen. I noticed a man which came this way and he immediately stopped. And I thought, that's weird because he's looking left and right and left and right and he's carrying a woman's shopping bag. I look back again, the gentleman's gone, and at the time, which I didn't think anything of, the van was gone. Not 10 seconds later, the gentleman with the van comes in with the dog yelling, my car is gone, my car is gone. Nobody has seen the van or the dogs since. We're just hoping that they'll, they'll, just, like, they'll just dump the truck, the van somewhere, that's it. We just yeah. want those dogs back, right? The dogs were left alone for about three minutes while their dog walker picked up the last pet from this building. The van was locked, but it was running for the dog's own comfort, says the doggy daycare owner. You can't leave um, a van not running with dogs inside because of the air conditioning, right? So we have a two key system, which basically means that one key stays in the ignition running. The AC, the HVAC unit runs the entire time the dogs are inside to keep them cool. And then we can lock the doors and the pack leader wears a lanyard with a key around his neck. Police were called and are looking for a white Econoline van much like this one with blacked out rear windows and the license plate AM34530. Meanwhile, many owners are touring the city looking for the van and their pets. What's your biggest fear right now? Um, that they've been released somewhere, roaming freely. Uh, that would be my biggest concern. I'm not actually permitting myself to think of any other concerns yet. Me and my wife don't have kids and, you know, he's our little fur baby. We don't care about the van or just the dogs. We need the dogs to come home. Now the building security footage luckily did capture the theft and the dog owners are hopeful that that will help police in their search for their pups. Now we spoke with Toronto police and they say that they are investigating the van theft but that human lives take precedent. Some good news though, you can help these dog owners reunite with their beloved pets. A volunteer search meet meeting is actually taking place this evening, 7 o'clock at Aroma Cafe in Liberty Village. They're hoping for a big turnout and hoping to be reunited with their best friends. In Liberty Village, Christina Howard, City News.